Isabel and I spent a week building out our Subaru Outback. We talked about hiking through Washington, driving along the coast of Oregon, to camp beneath the stars in Montana. Each stop brought new experiences and instilled new memories. This trip was an adventure of a lifetime. And we were so happy to share it all with you. This is Sequoia. We just made it to Sequoia, driving about three and a half hours from Yosemite. And we booked a site at Azalea Campground so we can explore the General Grant trees and the Grant Grove and this side of the park first before heading to Lodgepole and that area. It's absolutely stunning here. These trees are enormous and uh, yeah, give you a quick look here. <laughs> So we just woke up, it's about 9 a.m. now. We made breakfast and everything. We stayed at the Azalea campsite, which was $25, $28, but it was perfect, beautiful fire pit, nice bathrooms, pretty clean. So today is our full day here in Sequoia. Last night we explored General Grant Grove, which was magnificent, and today we're going to go to a lot of the classic locations and then a few that I think might be more off the beaten path, which will include a sunset hike. It's really, really wonderful here in Sequoia and it's just such a magnificent place with these trees. It's really cool to drive through nothing for so long and then get up here and just have this magical forest. So yeah, we're going to spend the day exploring the park, both Kings Canyon National Park and Sequoia National Park before we have to leave tomorrow morning. So we just got to General Sherman. The hike was really quick and easy. You're just on like a paved road the whole time. And um, not too many people here. Pretty cool to see the largest tree in the world. Sequoia seems to be uh, one of the less populated parks we've been to. You can actually have some time to view the big trees and to feel like you have some alone time or privacy in the park, which is cool. So yeah, cool seeing General Sherman. We're gonna go off now, go to Crescent Meadow area and do a nice big walk through the forest.
we wanted to basically just do a nice walk through the sequoias and get away from all the crowds who've come to Crescent Meadows. The trail kind of goes all through the grove and you can even walk to Sherman and back if you want, so I'm a couple miles, so we're just gonna walk around see some trees, just enjoy the afternoon, and then we're gonna go do Morro Rock for sunset. We have been walking through Crescent Meadow and into the giant forest. And the beauty of this area is that there's so many trails that are all intertwined and so you can just kind of get lost out here, find little places that you have by yourself with all these sequoias. It's, it's truly incredible. It's sad to see that so many are burnt, are burnt pretty badly and knocked over. And it's pretty amazing to just have an entire forest of sequoias you can just surround yourself with and actually hear the sound of silence. It's quite a unique experience in a unique place so I highly recommend coming through here it's a nice easy walk you can make it as easy or hard as you want we spent about two three hours out here just walking around maybe we've walked five or six miles and now we're gonna go back before heading to Morro Rock for sunset See his ear tags. He's got two, which means he's probably an aggressive bear. Woke up in Sequoia this morning, it was pouring rain. So we decided that we were gonna move on to our next location. But appreciate you guys watching this video. If you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, there'll be more coming out of my adventures from the US and around the world.